The Russian POC DA, Prospective Aviation Complex for Long Range Aviation, program remains one of the most secretive and delayed aerospace projects under development in Russia today. Initiated officially in the late 2000s, and formally contracted to Tupolev in 2013, the POC DA was conceived as a next generation strategic bomber. As of August 2025, the program remains in a developmental stage, with no confirmed prototype rollout, ground testing, or first flight. The aircraft has not yet been publicly shown in completed form, and all available information is based on official Russian statements, satellite analysis, indirect defense sources, and expert assessments. The aircraft is being built at the Kazan Aviation Plant Capo, a major facility historically responsible for manufacturing long-range bombers. Official sources have claimed that multiple airframe components are under production, including fuselage sections, control surfaces, and internal payload structures. Reports also suggest that full-scale mock-ups have been constructed for systems integration and signature testing, although no independent imagery or third-party confirmation exists. While there have been claims in Russian media that several prototypes are in various stages of assembly, no verifiable photograph, video, or satellite capture has shown any assembled flyable airframe or engine testbed. The POC DA's design emphasizes stealth, with a flying wing layout that eliminates vertical stabilizers to reduce radar cross-section and enhance survivability in contested airspace. This configuration is theoretically optimal for minimizing radar signature and thermal visibility, particularly when paired with radar-absorbing materials and low observable shaping techniques. The aircraft is expected to operate at subsonic speeds with long range and extended endurance, providing persistent deterrence or strike capability far from Russian borders. The estimated unrefueled range is over 12,000 kilometers, with the ability to remain in the air for over 30 hours. However, these figures have not been substantiated by any testing or official documentation. Internally, the aircraft is designed to carry its entire weapons load within sealed bays, further reducing radar signature. The payload capacity is reported to be up to 30 tons, though this figure is theoretical and unconfirmed. No evidence exists that a single missile, bomb, or targeting system has been integrated onto a POC DA platform. There are no publicly available images or test data confirming weapons release tests, target acquisition trials, or radar evaluation. In fact, the onboard system's architecture, including radar, sensors, electronic warfare suites, or navigation systems, has not been shown in any open source material. One of the critical bottlenecks for the POC DA is propulsion. The aircraft is to be powered by a newly developed high bypass turbofan engine known by the internal designation ISDELIA RF. This engine is reportedly derived from an upgraded version of the NK 32 turbofan used in older bomber platforms. According to official announcements, the engine has undergone bench testing and possibly early endurance trials. However, there is no indication it has been installed on a testbed aircraft or subjected to real-world flight testing under load. Stealth requirements for exhaust geometry, thermal masking, and noise reduction demand advanced engineering that is difficult to verify without observed results. The design of the cockpit, avionics, and mission systems also remains largely undisclosed. Russian media have suggested that the bomber will be equipped with a highly automated cockpit, including redundant controls and AI-assisted mission management, but none of these systems have been observed. The extent to which these technologies exist in testable form is unknown. There is no evidence that the aircraft has been subjected to radar cross-section testing in an anechoic chamber or range validation trials. No radar signature metrics have been released. The impact of economic and industrial sanctions imposed on Russia since 2022 has significantly constrained the development timeline. Russian aerospace manufacturing has lost access to key Western materials and precision tools, including heat-resistant composites, radar-absorbent coatings, high-frequency processors, and digital flight control modules. These shortages have forced reliance on domestically produced substitutes, many of which are less advanced or difficult to mass-produce. Additionally, the strain on Russia's manufacturing infrastructure has been worsened by logistics challenges, including limited access to imported machine tools and production software. There is no current indication that serial production of the POC DA is imminent. Officials previously projected that production could begin in the late 2020s, but no tooling for mass assembly has been documented. Even optimistic estimates now place the first prototype flight in 2026 at the earliest, and operational capability much later. Training for pilots, testing of software, integration of communication systems, 
and nuclear certification all remain distant and unconfirmed goals. Another major uncertainty is the structural durability of the design. The large flying wing configuration presents challenges in load distribution, structural resonance, and weight control. Without flight testing, it is impossible to confirm whether the POC DA's internal skeleton and skin materials can sustain the mechanical stress of long range missions. Russia has not confirmed any wind tunnel testing of a full scale aerodynamic model, nor has it published survivability or maintainability assessments. Statements from Russian state media and defense officials continued to affirm that the program is progressing. However, many such statements have included unrealistic timelines or technical claims unsupported by visible progress. For example, announcements in 2020 and 2021 suggested that final assembly of the first prototype was underway, and that first flight would occur by 2023. These milestones have passed with no corroboration. The repeated shifting of targets without evidence suggests serious internal challenges to the program. The POC DA project remains under active development, but it is not flight ready, not in testing, and far from operational service. The aircraft has not been rolled out, has not flown, and no full-scale demonstrator has been observed. Its engine, weapons, sensors, and stealth systems are unproven, and timelines for progress continue to slip. Although it remains an official Russian defense priority, the project faces deep structural, technological, and industrial obstacles that will likely prevent any meaningful deployment this decade. The status of the program remains uncertain, and no external observation has verified completion of even a single prototype.